In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It is great to be with you as we come to celebrate this wonderful feast of St. Stephen, a young man, a convert, a man uh, of youth and energy and enthusiasm uh, for the faith, uh, who lived out that faith in word and deed. It's good to have Father Thomas here this morning too. He comes to pray uh, for deacons, those exercising that ministry of diaconate, those preparing for the diaconate, as indeed are Sean and Ian in our own parish. It's a shame that we can't have the servers with us. St. Stephen, patron of the Guild of Servers, we would normally have had the sanctuary crowded and beyond. We'd like to assure them that you're very much in our prayers. We look forward to the resumption of your key ministry, which we really miss. To begin this Mass, we recognize that St. Stephen offers each of us an example as to how to live that witness to the Lord. And we pause and ask forgiveness and strength in our ministry. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of our sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. I'm celebrating this Mass for the intention of Beatrice and Kingsley Piera, that they may rest in peace. So let us pray. Grant, Lord, we pray, that we may imitate what we worship and so learn to love even our enemies, for we celebrate the heavenly birthday of a man who knew how to pray even for his persecutors. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen was filled with grace and power and began to work miracles and great signs among the people. But then certain people came forward to debate with Stephen, some from Cyrene and Alexandria, who were members of the synagogue called the Synagogue of Freedmen, and others from Sicilia and Asia. They found they could not get the better of him because of his wisdom and because it was the Spirit that prompted what he said. They were infuriated when they heard what he said and ground their teeth at them. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at God's right hand. I can see heaven thrown open, he said, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this, all the members of the council shouted out and stopped their ears with their hands. Then they all rushed at him, sent him out of the city, and stoned him. 
The witnesses put down their clothes at the feet of a young man called Saul. But they were stoning him. Ste they were stoning him. Stephen said in invocation, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and said aloud, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And with these words he fell asleep. Saul entirely approved of the killing. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into, Into your, your hands, hand, O Lord, I, I commend, commend my spirit. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. For your namesake, lead me and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. It is you who will redeem me, Lord. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your love. Into, Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I, I commend, commend my, my spirit. My life is in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of those who hate me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your love. Into, Into your, your hands, hands O Lord, Lord, I commend, I commend my, spirit. my spirit. Please stand for the Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord the God Lord is our light. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Beware of men. They will hand you over to the Sanhedrins and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them and the pagans. But when they hand you over, do not worry about what to speak or what to say. What you, say, what you are to say will be given to you when the time comes. Because it is not you who will be speaking, the spirit of your father will be speaking in you. Brother will betray brother to death and the father his child. Children will rise against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all on account of my name. But the man who stands firm to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank the IT team for uh, including, just before Mass, uh, that carol, the good King Wenceslas, who of course looked out on the feast of Stephen. I promise you I'm not about to sink. I've also just noticed, I've got a typo here, I've typed on the feats of Stephen, which in many ways perhaps is not inappropriate. It was his good deeds uh, which inspired people. But reminded in the carol that a poor man came in sight gathering winter fuel. The king asks about his circumstances and determines that he will take him food and drink and fuel, but the weather provides a challenge. The page, sir, the night is darker now. The wind blows stronger. Fails my heart, I know not how. I can go on no longer. The answer he receives is to follow in the master's footsteps, to tread boldly. And the encouragement, finally, in that last verse is that all Christians should follow that same example and that through doing so, they will know blessing. We're living, it seems, in many ways, in days where the wind does blow stronger. Uh, the challenge to be with others, to support them, uh, is harder. But this feast of St. Stephen gives us encouragement. The carol references St. Stephen's Day, and the care of the poor is a traditional activity on this day. 
I'm sure you know, Boxing Day refers to the boxes that will be put together uh, of food and drink uh, and kept in the churches and then on this day distributed to the poor in the village in order that they might share with the rest of the community. Inspired by St. Stephen, the first deacons, of, among the first deacons of the church, when concern had been raised about the poor, about the widows and the orphans, they choose seven men who can be trusted to carry out this work faithfully, which already tells us about his character, about the way in which he is regarded. A young man believed to have been a Greek Jew who converted to Christianity, which gives us perhaps, too, the clue as to why he is the first martyr. Distributing food to the hungry is surely something which would have been praised in every generation, in every community. But what brings him to the attention of the council, as we heard in that first reading, is that he is willing to tell people why he is engaged in this work talking about, as it were, walking in the master's footsteps. An excellent and well-trusted orator, his preaching style is so effective that the authorities become worried uh, about his impact, and so they accuse him of blasphemy, and he is made to stand trial. We hear in that gospel, you should not be uh, worried about what you are to say or how you are to speak, what you are to say uh, will be given to you when the time comes. It will not be you who is speaking. The spirit of your father will be speaking in you. And that was certainly true of this young man. He shows extraordinary courage in reminding them of the great gifts that God has given them and challenging them about the way in which they have responded generation after generation and they become so angry, they drag him onto the streets, and he is stoned to death. But we're told that he maintains that direction, that glance, that look towards heaven, and maintains that radiant confidence that this is where his journey is taking him. This is a day to reflect ourselves on the great gifts that we have received, perhaps in every sense at this time, and to consider our response. As a Christian community, we already have our modern day St. Stephen's, uh, the SVP in the parish, the CAFOD, the mission team, the Christmas lunches yesterday, uh, the current 10% charity appeal, and much more which goes on in our community. It's important that each of those witness to the faith which inspires them that we give thanks to God uh, for the way in which we are called to act. So we pray on this day, I would suggest, for two things. The importance of remembering in whose footsteps we tread, that inspired by St. Stephen, we may carry out these works and more in the name of the Lord, and that we commit ourselves again to supporting them, to be part of our response to the great gifts that God has given to us, and in doing so, that we too will witness to the world, to the presence of the Lord, and that we will carry on that ministry in word and deed. And so we stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, 
he came, came down from heaven, heaven and, and by, by the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. I invite you to sit as we bless God for the gifts he gives us. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Just be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings of our devotion today be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord for they are prompted by the glorious commemoration of St. Stephen the Martyr, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
For you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Richard, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and and profess your your resurrection resurrection until you come come again. again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you've given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, 
command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who are those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them in life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, word and my soul shall, shall be healed.
the body of Christ.
Let us pray. For the many mercies which surround us, we give you thanks, O Lord, who save us through the nativity of your Son and gladness with the celebration of the blessed martyr Stephen, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And it remains to say, I hope day one of the octave went well, that you have some strength and some quality street left uh, for, for the rest of the celebration. We wish you an ongoing, very happy uh, and holy Christmas. And a word of advice, if you want to have an enjoyable day, um, try charades. But don't play it with a priest half your age, who therefore ends every round by saying, ah, before my time. Um, so we're trying to find... Uh, God, it makes you feel old. Still, I did stay awake longest in the evening. But I had an afternoon nap, so I suppose all's fair. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. May God, who willed that the great joy of his saving birth be announced to shepherds by an angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favour and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.